So with us today, we have Dr. Troy McMullen from the University of Guelph in Ontario, Canada. And he, together with lichenologist Francis Anderson of Nova Scotia, recently authored a book newly published by the New York Botanical Garden Press entitled The Common Lichens of Northeastern North America. So welcome, Dr. McMullen. Thank you, Dr. Lindemer. So recently, I read the introduction to your book, and I noticed that you said that lichens were something that traditionally have been very inaccessible and difficult for members of the public, the general person, to identify and really learn about. Why is that? Uh, largely because there hasn't been uh, literature available. The literature previously had been very technical, um, written for specialists, and there wasn't anything available to the average person just to get started or just sort of learn the basics. And uh, this is what this book is about, is providing that, uh, making them available to people. Ours was written for the average person to um, learn about lichens. Uh, it was written in non-technical language, um, lots of big pictures showing every species that's in there and all the common ones that will be encountered frequently. So how would someone use your book? Well, you can use it to do research. You can use it to learn about the lichens that are in your own backyard. You can use it uh, you know, when you're hiking through the mountains to see what all those bright, colorful things are on the rocks. Um, they, uh, you know, it's got um, applications just like any field guide would. Um, but there just hasn't been a field guide like this. You know? And most of the time, in the past, if you wanted a, a field guide to say the birds, you go to the bookstore and there's all kinds of them. And there's ones for mushrooms, there's ones for trees and insects, but you never see any for lichens. So this was really adding one of the, the first uh, books to make lichens accessible. Why do we need a book about lichens the same way that we would have, say, for instance, a book about trees or mammals or birds, something like that? Sure. I mean, lichens have an intrinsic value like all things, and understanding all life is important. Um, but lichens in particular have um, many uses as well. Uh, a lot of the uh, organisms in the forest use them for food, for shelter, um, nesting material, and uh, humans use them quite a bit too around the world for food and for spices, uh, for dyes, and, uh, and medicines quite a bit. So it sounds like lichens are very important then. Yeah, on many levels. So what is a lichen? Right, that's a good question. Uh, and uh, it's, a, it's an interesting one because lichens aren't your average species. They are multiple species working together. So there's, um, they're a lot like corals. I like to refer to them as the corals of the forest because they're multiple species working together. It's usually um, a photosynthesizing partner uh, and that's usually an algae and they're working together with a fungus. And when the two of them come together, they're very different than they are individually and they transform into something really spectacular and beautiful that can colonize most of the terrestrial environments in the world. So how would someone that purchased your book use it, say, on a hike in the forest, uh, in the mountains, or in their own backyard, in a city or in the country? So this covers the common ones, and they, the, with, with lichens, uh, the vast majority of what you see is common, and then a, the, a small amount of what's out there has many, many species. So this covers all the common things, which means it covers the majority of what you'll see out there. All the time I encounter people who say, yeah, they, they, you know, I've, I've noticed these beautiful things, but we don't know what they are, we don't know anything about them, and so they often become this, this foreign thing, this alien thing that they don't understand and um, you know, can't put a name on to begin with. Uh, but, and, and that's just the first step in understanding them. And that's why a guide like this can help you. If you can link a name to it, you can link to all the details about it, and you can start to build a relationship with it, you know, and understand how it's a part of the natural world. At this point, I certainly am more interested in lichens, and I would imagine a lot of other people listening are. Would you, where would you recommend that people would get your book? Uh, well, it was published by the New York Botanical Garden Press, uh, so you can get it directly from them right now.